Good morning, morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, early morning California. Beautiful morning. It's going to be a warm spring day. Really looking forward to it. Um, this week's video, I'm going to just kind of take a bunch of quick video segments and string them all together. Kind of show you what a day is like. So it's about, uh, I don't know, what time is it? 6.45 in the morning. And I'm heading out to my first problem of the day, which has actually been ongoing. It's here in one of our uh, health clinics. We have a, a switch, which uh, port keeps getting automatically shut down due to link flapping. And that is due to high CRC errors on uh, one of the ports. Um, due to a faulty fiber. So I'm going to try to uh, reseat the fiber patch cable at this end and uh, see if that makes sense. And uh, we'll catch up when I'm there in the room. Okay, so here we are in the network closet, as you can hear. <laughs> I like the comment about uh, synchronizing the fans with the sound of my voice. <laughs> I wish. Um, so this, this is one of my one of the bigger closets. We've got a lot of, we got three different stacks of switches in here. So we got five, 10, 14, 14 total switches in here. And um, yeah, so there's a lot of noise, a lot of busyness. Um, and unfortunately only two fibers per stack. So we got you know, fiber, fiber, that's one stack right there. And uh, that's all the fibers we have, as you can see. We, we're, we've only got six fiber runs total, so that's two per stack. Um, which is better than what we were doing before. I had to have engineering uh, redress, readdress uh, a bunch of the fibers. Um, this stack down here at the bottom, which, which is one I need to work on again, because it's still giving me problems. Um, we actually had no good fibers going hit for a while, and we had to use this um, this copper connection here over to this switch up here, and this purple cable. So we chose purple, but we would remember it connects purple switch to purple switch. So it goes from this port over here to the same port on the stack down here. Um, we were having to use that as our uplink, and we don't want to go back to that. So. This is my problem port right here. Uh, where's my hand? Let's see if I can find it. There we go. If you can see, there is no link light on that. We should have a link light flashing just like that one. And we got nothing down here. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, just reseat the fiber cable and try to clean the ends a little bit <coughs> using. Uh, as I clear my throat, uh, unauthorized methods to clean that in, and uh, I'll probably do the same on the other end there, and uh, we'll see how long that fiber will stay up, and if, it, if redoing that doesn't help, um, I'm going to try to replace the whole fiber patch cable, and if that doesn't help, then I'm going to talk to my facilities guy again, Jose, Mr. Fernandez, who is, who is awesome. Um, We'll have Jose take a look at it and see if he can um, figure out what's going on. So. All right, I'm going to get to it, and we'll be right back. Okay, I uh, cleaned and reseated both ends. So this end right here comes along down here, goes right over here, and it actually goes to the first fiber port on the back panel. So I just unseated the fiber cable, cleaned both ends, plug it back in, and hopefully that'll... I'll take care of it. Oh, and I do want to note which ports that's on for my little book here in case I have to tell Jose he needs to fix it. Uh, that's on pairs one and two. So I'll have to note that in my handy dandy notebook. So there we go. All right, I'm going to go back and re enable the port on the, uh, on the switch. I didn't bring my laptop with me. And uh, we'll just monitor the errors from there, see how long it takes. It takes a while. So, I mean, I'll clear the ports, clear the port errors on there, clear, I mean, clear out the statistics. And, um, you know, I'll just sit there and monitor the ports, and it'll be clean, no errors for hours. 
and then I'll come in the next morning and tons of CRC errors. So um, you know, try to try to figure out what's going on there. So like I said, I'm going to go back, clear, clear the errors out, and then just watch it. And we'll, we'll see how long it takes to come back. All right, back over to my office. All right, headed back to my office. That's one thing about this job. I've got more exercise here. Sorry, it's kind of cold out here. Got, uh, um, no, it's getting colder. Got more exercise here than at any other job I've had. There's, everything is so spread out on the campus. I got to walk from here to there. The engineering guys get golf carts. We, we get our feet. So, again, sorry about the bounciness. I won't uh, make this video too long because I don't want, uh, or this segment too long. I don't want you guys getting seasick. So, uh, but it is a beautiful walk out here in the morning. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful area to work in. It's very old. This hospital's been here for 120 years. And uh, the original buildings are all gone, but some of the older buildings are still here. These buildings here were built in the 70s. That building back there, back there, was built in the 30s. And the, uh, this one up here, I'm gonna point at it in a minute. Well, you can kind of see it. It's back there behind the other building, that tower, we call it the towers. That was built in the 1920s. So, yep, a lot of history around here. Say the 20s, I mean the 1920s, not the 2020s. I forget, we're already in the 2020s. Jeez. All right, I'm going to quit babbling and quit bouncing around here and uh, get back to my office, and we'll take it up from there. Okay, back at my desk here, and we are going to share a little something here to share the whole screen see all my dirty secrets here all right so this is a switch we were just looking at you can see this port here is down and it's down on that switch and it's down all the way back to the core so and i know it's down because the core switch has disabled it so i go here we're going to SSH to that particular core switch. And we're going to double check. It's really down for that reason. Uh, gig state one. Yeah, you can see it's, it is admin up. It should be up, up. It's not, it's up, down. The reason it is down is because of this link flap, which means it's been up, it's been down. It's been up, it's been down from the other end, from this end. So what we were going to do, let's go into config mode here. Go to that interface. We're going to shut it down. And then we're going to do no shut. That'll bring that port up. And I want to look at the uh, errors on that port. So yeah, we're not having any problems at the core switch end. It's, it's all link, failure, link failures from the other end. So we're done here. Let's go to the switch in question. You can see it's green. That's good. We like green.
Don't you hate it when your password changes and you keep forgetting? Okay, so now we're gonna do show port 151, which is on that end, RXE. And you can see all the CRC errors there. Um, this is a live count here, this show port 151 RXE, that'll show errors as they happen. Um, it's kind of cool to clear out these errors, you just hit the number zero. And you can see we're already getting CRC errors. Lots. So that's gonna go down again, I'm gonna have to uh, Tell Mr. Fernandez about this, my buddy Jose, and uh, see if there is anything he can do about it. So maybe I will replace that patch cable first. Yeah. So let's do that. Another walk over there. Be right back. Okay, so now I'm someplace different. Uh, and unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys walking down here. I am in my MDF. It's my fancy new rack of equipment. Um, yeah, I can't show you guys as I walk through the hallways. Um, the hospital's open now, and it's the flip a violation to show you patients or uh, visitors or whatever or doctors or nurses because they didn't sign up to be in these videos. Um, so what I was going to do is come down here to the uh, to the core switch side of that link I'm having problems with. And uh, I was looking at the GBIC, and this is one of the older ones that I've kind of had problems with on the newer equipment. I mean, it should work. Um, but I'm going to put a newer GBIC in just just because. I've, I've found that that helped me out a couple of times. Um, it's hard to do one-handed. Come on. There we go. Come on, you little... There we go. Okay, so this is, this is a new one. And I'm going to put that into the slot it belongs in and plug the fiber back in. And again, monitor. Because um, all the things I was doing at the other, other side... Uh, the edge switch end was just not helping. So I'm going to plug this back in very carefully. There we go. So it's plugged back in. I got blink lights. And uh, so once again, I'll just start monitoring and uh, see how things go. So uh, yeah, I checked and I've covered uh, almost a mile walking <laughs> today. So you'd think I'd be thinner. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to probably, um, I'm probably going to take a break, take a walk. Um, I've been doing other things aside from this. Um, I've been talking to Extreme about Extreme Networks, about a licensing problem I'm having with some of their software. Um, so I've been kind of doing that while I've been monitoring this. And I uh, sent a few emails um, to a user that's... Uh, claiming to have problems with her Wi-Fi. So um, that's what I've been doing in the meantime. So I have been otherwise occupied, not just sitting at my desk. Well, sitting at my desk, but trying to do things. So I'm going to take a little break, negotiated by my union, and uh, I'll go back and, and check and see how the uh, CRC errors are doing on this. So we'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so just a quick update. Um, I walked back to my desk and uh, cleared the error counters out on that particular switch board I was having problems with, and there are no CRC errors. So at the moment, indications are pointing to that being a bad GBIC. Um, these are legacy uh, GBICs, gigabit interface coupler, that um, they worked fine in the older switches, the legacy switches we have. Um, and they work okay in the newer switches we bought, but one problem is that um, when we uh, when we use them on longer fiber runs, they just don't seem to have enough oomph 
to make it work. So we get a lot of, a lot of CRC errors. Um, so what I've been finding that I have to do is uh, just replace them with, with the newer ones that we ordered. And uh, that, that seems to clear it up. Shouldn't be the case, but it is. And uh, you know why? I don't know. Um, it's working. That's, <laughs> that's really all I care about. I want it to work. So I'm just going to make a note. Um, for any of these longer runs, I'm going to go through and check all the other GBICs and make sure I'm using um, the ones we just ordered, the newer ones, and uh, replace all the legacy ones, um, at least on the longer runs. Shorter runs, they seem to work fine. So, But um, that's all speculation until I get back and uh, see for myself that the receive errors are not increasing. So uh, for right now, I'm just going to go take my walk, and you guys don't want to see me bouncing around and getting dark and getting light, so I'm going to pause and uh, we'll pick you up a little bit later. Well, good morning everybody. It's been 24 hours. Let's um, let's see how we're doing on those errors. Um, hang on, let me share that. And I'm just going to share this part right here. There we go. As you can see, after 24 hours, we still have zero errors, which is great. That's what I want. And usually that's what I would see is all these receive errors here. So that's good. That problem was solved by swapping out a legacy GBIC with a new one. So, uh, Hang on a second, I'm gonna wrap up the day. Be right back. Let me stop that and let me stop this. All right, well, I guess we're gonna wrap up this video right where we started it. Um, I've gone ahead and cleaned up my patch panel. I'm gonna have to clean up this fiber, fiber cable, bundle it back up. Uh, my boss had it all nice and neat and tidy and I, uh, I basically destroyed it with all my troubleshooting, so I'm going to have to put that back together. Um, just kind of more wrap up the day yesterday, um, since this was pretty much a day in the life. Um, after I started out troubleshooting all this, I uh, went on to, let's see, what do we do? We had a meeting about setting up a VPN with another company. Um, just a meeting, we didn't even set one up talking about setting up a VPN. Um, I took delivery of a UPS that I ordered for our lab building, so I'll have to cart that over. Another network admin duty, apparently. Um, falls in the other duties as assigned category. Um, what else did we do? Um, Someone who was trying to get a, uh, a VPN client set up on her iPhone and it isn't working. And I explained to her, um, we don't really support VPN clients on iPhones. We support it on PCs and that's it. That's a company policy. Can I support it on an iPhone? Yeah, but that's, that's not company policy. That's, that's not what we do. Um, it's not approved. Let's put it that way. And I uh, studied a book that my boss is wanting us to read as part of a, a book study for uh, our meetings. And um, yeah, other than that, I just did a little bit of research as far as um, you know the next uh, fiber I want to troubleshoot because I've got other fiber issues. And uh, that was pretty much it, the day in the life. I'm sorry I couldn't show you a lot of that because um, they involve other people who have not consented to be on my YouTube channel, and it also involves uh, other companies, other, uh, in some cases, patients, that's why I can't, uh, I can't show you walking down the hallway out there because there's patients out there, well, actually, there's no patients yet, but still, I just don't film in the hallways just because, so yeah, that's it, we're going to call this one a wrap, that was, uh, that was my Monday. That's what a Monday is like around here. And it was actually a fairly quiet Monday, so it wasn't a whole lot to show you, unfortunately. So, But again, I'll go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click the subscribe button. 
Uh, click the notification bell if so des uh, desired. And um, go out there and uh, give it your all and uh, do everything for God's glory. God bless everybody.